Hello everyone, I'm Erica. And I'm Akila. Welcome, Welcome to, to Harsh Chat. So we're back with another hashtag, showers, April showers episode, and tonight we're talking about when you're in it. So we talked about the storm before. Mm-hmm. Preparing for yeah, it. Yeah, preparing for the storm. So now we're talking about when you're in it. Yeah. So that's perfect. That's <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about that, okay? It's so true. So Erica. Yes? <laughs> How have you been? Girl, it's the same. <laughs> It's pretty much the same. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need this today. <laughs> I, I need this episode. So, mm-hmm. so, yeah, I'm here for it. How are you? Um, pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't have many complaints, you know. Just doing adult things. <laughs> like, you know, paying bills. Yeah. <laughs> Living your life. Living life. Like, things like that. So, nothing too exciting. All right. <laughs> well, let's, let's go for it. Yes. So, um, I guess, <laughs> speaking of adult, that's enough reason to, like, be in it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, we're just talking about, like, when things happen, like, we talked about the storm and, like, yeah. all these things are happening. And we talked about before about how you have to, you know, prepare. And then, you know, when things happen, um, when, th- when you have that experience of something happen, yeah. it helps you to be prepared. So, just that it's inevitable that, that you know, things bad are things gonna are going to happen. Yeah. At times, and it's important to recognize that and prepare and talk to people. That, you know, I mean, we did, we did <clears throat> excuse me, we did a whole episode about that. So yeah, you can watch that one, you know, and catch up. So this one's a little bit different in that you're not exactly preparing, but you're in, in it. it. Yeah, there was so. no time to prepare, or you didn't know what was going to happen, but you're just in it. Yeah. What do you do? Well, go ahead. Okay. Well, Thank I you. guess it depends on um, what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's like a major life transition, a major life, um, event or like, you know, whether they're, you lose your job or, yeah. you know, you're getting married, like all things that, well, you prepare for being married, but that's a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all things that are events that kind of just happen. Mm-hmm. So I think with anything else, it's about looking after something like that happens, it's like looking what you can and can't do. Yeah. In terms of what you can do, I'll use a job in example. You know, mm-hmm. you can, you know, take a break. You could look for a new job. You mm-hmm. can talk to your supports, all of that. And things you can't do, well, you know, it's ultimately whatever happened, like you can't change it. Yeah. That that That's basically the main, cha- the main can't is like you can't change the event that's happening Or has happened, but you find ways to kind of make it better Mm -hmm. until you get to where you think you need to be or um, you're able to cope with whatever is happening. Right. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I'm right there with you. I think it does depend on what's going on. Yeah. And I would say the two top things I think are important is one, your mindset. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, you have to think of, okay, well... This happened. Mm-hmm. This happened. It happened. You so can't you have, change it. Yeah. So, like, you're there. That's the first part, I think, of your mindset. Just kind of accepting and rec- recognizing. You don't even have yes. to accept it, but just recognizing, recognizing. that yep. that is what it is. And the second thing, I think, is getting connected. Mm-hmm. You know, um, asking for help. Yes. Forever that means. And it might not be family. Mm-hmm. You know, it could just be like if you use a job example, maybe it's a temp agency that you're getting the help from. But definitely getting connected with people because I think we're better in in numbers Mm -hmm. when we have the support. And I think two heads are better than one. Definitely. You know, and it's nice to have that. That under some somebody there or something there that's helping along the path. Mm -hmm. I think it can be really drowning. You know, you can get flooded with the shower. If you don't have, like, someone supporting you or just helping you even just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You know, you get wrapped up in the negativity, especially if you're in it. And it's By just yourself. you. Yeah, definitely. You're not, like, throwing ideas or talking to other people. It's just you inside your own mind, like, mm-hmm. going in su- circles. Like, what could I have done different? What can I, like, mm-hmm. how could I have not let made this happen? Or, like, how how is this somehow my fault when in actuality, you know... At this point, it's too late to even be thinking about half those things. It's like, what's the next step? Right. 
And I'll give the example. Like I said, this was like, I had my name <laughs> on it. <laughs> I found the perfect place to live. Like, mm-hmm. perfect place. I'm like, this isn't mine. I've got it. I'm going to be living here. You know, I'm like, oh, this is my place. I know the address already. Like, I was picturing <laughs> how I'm going to decorate everything. Like, you can tell me this was not my place. And um, when I got that email that somebody else got it, I was like, what? Yeah. This is not happening. Not happening. And I was sitting there. Like, I wanted to. I wanted to go home. I was like, okay, I need to pack up my stuff and go because I'm <laughs> about to work. cry. Yeah, I'm yeah. at work. <laughs> I was at work. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. So I said, okay. So I texted. You know, like my mom and my sisters. Like, you know, people are important to me. Whatever. I texted you. I told you about it. <laughs> I was so, for it. <laughs> yeah. I texted my my people, my support. Yeah. Told them what's going on, and like. Two min- I, didn't, I didn't cry at that time. I didn't. I cried. I didn't even cry that same day. I yeah. cried the next day. The next day. <laughs> so, After it settled. Yeah, it was a lot of things. Um, but I that's when I saw the email, like two minutes later, I got online, was looking at more places, and had another appointment for the next day. Because I'm yes. like, you know what? This is what it is. Okay. Month was, wasn't meant to be. And granted, it's maybe it's not as extreme as someone losing their job. Yes. But it's just an example. Um you know, I said that this is what it is. It's something I really wanted. Yes, it was upsetting and frustrating, you know, because I've been looking for a while. Yes. But you have to move to the next thing. And it was really, really helpful to reach out to people because my sister started looking and started yeah. sending me places. My mom, and she, they have been, my mom has You're been, yeah. sending me places. And um, I depended a little bit more on the realtor, too. Yeah. Because. So it's not always on, so much pressure on you. Yeah. And I, I do take on that. I'm mm-hmm. like, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got it. I don't need her to find me, you know. I do. And I was like, I need some help. <laughs> so, and that felt good. And the other thing that felt really good was that I didn't ask my mom or my sisters, you know, to do that. Yeah. They just started doing it. Doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they were like, oh, send me places and stuff, you know, we'll help you out. And that made me feel good. Mm-hmm. And I think it shortens the time that you spend, like, oh, my gosh, why don't I have this? Why didn't this work out? Yes. You know, this is so bad. It's like you... Got to keep going. So that's just my little small example. And I think something that's important to note with your example is that you didn't dwell on it. Like you got angry. Well, maybe not angry, but you got upset. (laughs) Maybe you did. (laughs) I wasn't angry. Like you got, you know, you got upset. You you took that time and then you were right back on it. Mm -hmm. And so for some people, it's like different amount, depending on, like I said, the extreme yeah. Ness of it. But you know, I think it's important to note that, you know, it, it's okay to get angry about things, mad, mm-hmm. upset, and love. it's just about the how long we dwell on them and right. not and that dwelling leading us not to put an action to make it better. Right. And that's one question I always ask myself. I always say if something happens that's not doesn't go my way, I'm like, well, what am I gonna do about it? <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am okay, I gonna do? Okay, well I can't do anything about it, so let's let's go. Let's move to the next thing. Let's go. But that's the very first one. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but I always say, what am I going to do about it? Yeah, exactly. What are you going to do about it? And then you put it into action. Yeah, and that's what you said from the very beginning. It's all about what you can do and what you can't, can't do. do. <laughs> and people get stuck there. The, yes, that's a, that's a huge thing. And, and I think they get stuck on that. And then the things we think we can have the ability to change, mm-hmm. there's things that we can't change. It happened. Like, we, yeah. can't, we can't do anything about it. Yeah. And the serenity prayer is a good prayer for that. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. you can look that up if you don't know the serenity prayer. Yep. So is there any other thing you want to add, Akilah? I would say, you know, in any situation, you know, assess your emotions. And if you're getting really stuck, make a list, like we always say, Mm -hmm. of what can I physically, mentally, emotionally do and what can I physically, mentally do mentally emotionally do about this situation and then go from there and if not reach out for your help uh, supports yes definitely um i would say comfort too because Mm -hmm. i did go across the street and get myself a frosty from wendy's (laughs) (laughs) you and your frosties i hadn't well i always get vanilla i hadn't had a chocolate frosty in years Oh I was God. talking to Ashley. She was like, get you a chocolate one. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I haven't had one of those in a long time. So I did. <laughs> I did that. That's and not, awesome. That's where it's in like normal limits. Not saying go out there and eat a whole tub of ice cream yeah. or anything like that. But sometimes you need like a little pick-me-up. Yeah. 
of the time. I agree. I think that's a very good and even tip. If, yeah, and if it's not like ice cream or something, it could be I'm going to hang out with my friend or I'm mm-hmm. going to watch a movie tonight. I just need to do something like get my mind off this. Akila, <laughs> stop. <laughs> get my mind off of this. Kind of de-stress. Something that, you know, um, makes you happy or might cheer you up a little bit. Yeah, I agree. So, got to know what those things are for yourself. And it's great to have people because maybe, like me, you needed somebody to tell you that. Hey, why don't you go? Get that chocolate one. (laughs) Yeah. Cheer yourself up a little bit. (laughs) Take a walk. Because I I told I was like, you know what? Good thing I didn't pack a lunch today. I need to go for a walk. And I did. I went outside. went for a walk. Whatever. That helped. That helped. Oh, good. Good. So, enough of my example. (laughs) But I think it was a good one. And it shows that everyone goes through stuff. Mm-hmm. Don't I know it. Don't I know it. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we will um, catch you next time. As usual, message us on all of our social networks. Yes. Email yeah. us. Let us know what topics you want to hear about. And, you know, comment below if you have comments about our episode today or any questions that you want to ask us. All right. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to Harsh Chat today, where we speak from the heart. We hope that you enjoyed our show. Catch us every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel and on our website, which is HeartChatRadioShow.com. Be sure to follow us on our social media pages at Harsh Chat Radio on Instagram and at Harsh Chat on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope. We love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions or topics that you want to hear about, you can email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. And for all of your personal relationship questions, please visit my blog from ericasheart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat, where we speak from the heart. Mm-hmm.